the lithography machine has been mentioned a lot in the recent years because it is an indispensable and very important equipment in chip manufacturing. The question is that this equipment technology is very backward in China and then the gap between the world-class level is at least 10 years. Many people believe that this is caused by the late start of Chinese lithography machines. But is it true? Well, you may not believe that China has developed the first domestic lithography machine 57 years ago. At that time, the level of technology in China was far lower than it is now, but as early as 1965, under the leadership of Chinese scientists such as Qian Shuesen, the first lithography machine in China was developed. You might ask, why has China, which used to be a leader in the field of lithography machine manufacturing, has been sanctioned by the United States, causing domestic electronics companies such as Huawei to fall into an unprecedented predicament? With the current level of technology in China, how many years will it take to develop the next advanced lithography machine? What does the lithography machine mean to China? Hi, welcome to TechTeller. In this video, let's talk about all of these questions. After entering the 21st century, the technological level of all countries in the world has been significantly improved. So is China. Whether it is aerospace or high-speed railway, China has reached the top level, and even surpassed developed countries in some aspects. However, it should be noted that there are still many deficiencies in China's domestic semiconductor business, and it is impossible to completely get rid of the dependence on foreign technology. The core embodiment of semiconductor industry is the chip, which is of irreplaceable significance for the further development of a country, so the country attaches great importance to this industry. However, there is a problem that plagued China many years, that is, the lack of lithography machines. A lithography machine is a necessary equipment for the production of chips. There are only four companies that can produce lithography machines in the world. However, in the mid-to-high-end lithography market, especially EUV lithography machines, which are used in the front-end process of chip manufacturing, ASML is completely monopolized. Therefore, in order to truly achieve the goal of chip autonomy and self-sufficiency in China, lithography is a technology that must be overcome, otherwise domestic chips will always be difficult to rise. But unfortunately, the difficulty of the lithography machine is not a trivial matter. However, even if a low-end lithography machine can be built in China, it is impossible to raise the domestic chip to an advanced level at once, unless the high-end lithography machine is conquered. Unfortunately, this situation is unlikely to occur in a short period of time. Why is China so far behind in the field of lithography machine manufacturing? China built a lithography machine as early as 57 years ago. At that time, China was in a leading position in the lithography machine market, but then a wrong idea directly spread in the domestic industry. This kind of thinking is very popular in the 1980s, it is better to buy than to create, and it is better to rent than to buy. Since building a lithography machine by yourself not only takes a lot of time, but also costs a lot of money, most people at that time felt that it was better to buy or rent it from others than to develop it themselves. In this way, the cost of construction will be reduced, and the company will be able to maximize the benefits. It is true that in the eyes of businessmen, the latter will definitely be chosen between making and buying, after all, they mainly value the immediate interests. But only the things made by yourself can be in your own hands, because the purchases and rents do not belong to them. Unfortunately, few people realized this at the time. With the current level of technology in China, how many years will it take to create a lithography machine? At present, China's chip design is already at the world-class level. The high-performance AI reasoning chip Hanguang 800 launched by Alibaba Dharma Academy has 15 times higher performance than the second-ranked NVIDIA T4 chip of the same type. The Kuomping chip and Kirin chip that Huawei has launched are also among the best in their class. In terms of designing application chips, Chinese companies are not inferior. The question is, even though the chip is designed, how to manufacture it? At present, the best chip manufacturer in mainland China is SMIC. But SMIC needs to use a lithography machine to complete the manufacturing, that is to say, if there is no lithography machine, SMIC cannot make high-performance chips. And high-performance chips designed by Chinese companies will never be mass-produced. 
the lithography machine is the most critical tool to curb the development of Chinese chips. It is said that it is harder to build a world-leading lithography machine than to build an atomic bomb. To be honest, it's true. The task to be completed by the lithography machine is at the nanometer level. Accuracy is a civilization's strongest technological manifestation. In the science fiction novel A Space Odyssey 2001, it was written that humans saw a huge square steely on the moon. No matter what tools humans use to measure, the ratio of length, width, and height of the steely is always 1 to 4 to 9. In the book, it is written, the ability to manipulate microscopic objects with such precision is a kind of display of civilization. We often watch science fiction films, and the nanotechnology mentioned in it is actually nothing more than precision. It is easy to build a humanoid robot, which can be achieved with current technology, but it is difficult to build a robotic mosquito, because it requires an all-round miniaturized version. And when you can build a robot as small as a cell, it's invincible. Today's technology no longer competes with who is bigger, but who is smaller. Nanometer is the smallest scale unit at present. What the lithography machine needs is the most advanced nanotechnology at present. In other words, if China wants to build the most advanced nano-level lithography machine, it needs its own industrial level to reach the nano-level. What China needs to do is not to build lithography machines, but to improve the level of the entire industry. When China's overall industry really reaches this level of technology, China will not only be able to make lithography machines. At that time, any of the most advanced products in the world could be made in China. Is it hard? Of course it is. But China has to do it. Otherwise, China will be locked in low-level industrial technology and will never become a developed country. Once China is completed, China's economic level will not just pass the threshold of developed countries, but will make rapid progress and become a highly developed country, with per capita GDP reaching the level of G7, or even surpassing that of the United States. Is it possible? Of course it is. China is not short of talents, money and correct industrial policies. As long as Chinese continue to follow the current path, technology will always be conquered. I am optimistic about China's future. This is not blind, but the result of rational analysis. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below, and share your insightful ideas. I am Tech Teller, the person to tell you the opinions that worth spreading every day. Thank you so much for your continuous support. See you.